lingua latina, colloquium primum, Josepus et Titus, Josepus et Titus servi sunt. Quis es dominus tuus? Dominus meus est Julius, Emilia domina mea est. Quis es dominus tuus? Dominus meus est Cornelius, et Fabia es domina mea. Es Nemania familia Iuli? Est mania. Mea quoque familia mania est. Tua familia? Non tua, sed Corneli familia est. Num teri servi Corneli, tui servi sunt? Familia domini mei est familia mea. Quod servi sunt in familia tua? Centum servi anquilaeque. Liberi quod sunt. 3. Duo fili et una filia. In familia Iuli sunt multi servi et pauci liberi. Quod sunt liberi in familia Corneli? In familia Corneli non tres, sed duo liberi sunt. Una filia, Cornelia, et unus filius, Sextus. Numerus liberorum parvus est, sed numerus servorum non est parvus. Quod servi et quod anquilae sunt in familia domini tui? Decum servi, decemque anquilae. Decum parvus numerus est. Sed decem et decem sunt viginti. Viginti non est parvus numerus. Familia mea est magna. Non magna, sed parua est. Neque tua est familia. Quale tite? Vocabulary in the nominative case used in the dialogue. The nominative case in Latin is used to indicate the subject of a verb. Lingua, language or tongue. Colloquium, conversation or discussion. Primus, prima, primum. First. Servus, slave or servant. Anquila, slave girl or housemaid. Dominus. Master or owner. Domina. Lady of the house or owner. Familia. Clan, family or household. Magnus, magna, magnum. Big, large or great. Multi. Many. Pauci. A few. Parvus, parva, parvum. Small or little. Filius. Son, filia, daughter, liberi, children, ceteri, the others, the rest, meus, mea, meum, my, tuus, tua, tuum, your, numerus, number, unus, una, unum, one, duo, duai, duo, two, tres, tres, Tria, three. Decem, ten. Viginti, twenty. Centum, one hundred. Quis, who? Quot, how many? Non, not, no. Quoque, also, two. Et, and. In, in. Said, but, but also. Neque, not, neither, not even. Num, then, when asking a question and expecting a negative answer. Nonne, not, when asking a question and expecting a positive answer. And here we have some examples of plural nouns used in the dialogue. Masculine nouns such as servus will drop the U.S. and add a long I with a macron above it. So servus will become servi. Filius, filii. Masculine nouns ending in R will add a long I to the end of the word. Puer, pueri. Boy, boys. Wir, wiri. Man, men. And for feminine nouns, we will add an E to the A, creating the diphthong I. So, anquila becomes anquilai. Filia, filiai. Domina, dominai. For neuter nouns, we will simply drop the U-M and add an A. 
Colloquium becomes colloquia. Stadium, stadia. Templum, templa. Temple, temples. Bellum, bella. War, wars. Latin also has a number of enclitic particles which cannot stand alone and attach themselves to other words, such as que, we, and ne. Que means and. When used, the stress is placed on the syllable preceding the enclitic particle. For example, Centum servi anquilaeque, 100 slaves and housemaids. Decem servi decemque anquilae, 10 slaves and 10 housemaids. Senatus populusque romanus, the senate and people of Rome. Another enclitic particle is we, meaning or. It is found attached to words that would otherwise be preceded by one of the independent words for or, such as well or out. Where hic unde est? Quis we huc atulit? Where is this boy from? Or who has brought him here? Another important particle is ne, which is attached to the first word of a sentence to signify that the sentence will be a question. For example, es ne mania familia yuli? Does Yulius have a large family? Examples of the genitive case. The genitive case in Latin expresses possession. It is best thought of as the adjectival case since it is used when one wishes to employ one noun to specify something about another. It is most often translated into English through the use of the preposition of. In the dialogue, Dominus became Domini, so Familia Domini Mei Est would be, my Dominus's family is, then Julius became Julii, and Cornelius, Cornelii, in Familia Cornelii would be, in Cornelius's family. We also saw two examples of the genitive plural, Liberi became Liberorum. So, numerus liberorum would mean the number of children. Servi became servorum. Numerus servorum would be the number of slaves. Example of the ablative case. The ablative case is known as the adverbial case because it is used to modify the verb by means, by what, agent, by whom, accompaniment, with whom, manner, how, place, where, from which, and time when or within which. It is also frequently used with prepositions such as ab, by or from, cum, with, de and ex, from, and in, in or on. In the dialogue we saw familia become familia, which changed the short a to a long a with a macron above it. So in familia cornelii would mean in Cornelius's family. This particular example is the ablative of place where, which describes where someone or something is located or where some action is being done. Example of the vocative case. The vocative case is used to address a person or thing directly. The vocative has the same form as a nominative case except when used with the singular of us nouns and adjectives of the second declension. The singular masculine noun amicus would change the us to an e. So, amicus would become amike. The name of a person such as sextus would also change the U.S. to an E. So, sextus becomes sexte. Titus, tite. In the dialogue, we saw the example, vale tite. Goodbye, Titus. Personal pronouns. Ego, I. Tu, you. Is, ea. Id, he, she, it. Nos, we. Was, you, plural. A, ai, ea, they, in masculine, feminine, and neuter. The verb esse, to be, conjugated in the present indicative. Ego sum, tu, es. Is, Ea id est. Nos sumus. 
was estis. Ei, ei, ea sunt. An important aspect in learning Latin is the use of macrons. A macron is a diacritic placed above a vowel to indicate that it is pronounced as a long vowel. The name macron comes from Greek macron, meaning long. So the vowels in Latin written with a macron would be pronounced as a, e, i, o, u. The Romans did not use macrons to write their language, but they are now used to teach new learners of Latin the proper pronunciation when reading. The dialogue I used in the video is originally written in Latin without any English translations, so the subtitles you saw were written by me. Please comment if you notice any mistakes in the translation of the dialogue or if I forgot to include any macrons in the vocabulary explanation. All of the photographs used in the video were taken by me in Rome and Nîmes, except for the picture of the SPQR eagle which I found on the internet. The dialogue I used can be found in the book Lingua Latina per se illustrata, Colloquia personarum by Hans H. Erberg. The pronunciation and grammar are based on Wheelock's Latin by Frederick M. Wheelock and revised by Richard A. Lafleur. Additional resources include Latin for Americans by Ullman, Henderson, and Henry, Latin Essentials of Grammar by W. Michael Wilson, and Lingua Latina per se illustrata Familia Romana by Hans H. Erberg.